Oh, oh, hi-yo, gozaimasu. Uh, apparently there's some rumors going around that I was stealing stuff from the One Piece booth, so I'd like to tell my side of the story of it. I was at Gen Con having a blast scooping games and decking myself out in Dragon Ball, so I went to the One Piece booth and there were a bunch of people that were playing Dragon Ball that said they didn't get a chance to go there. So when I got to the booth, I asked if I could swoop a couple extra packs for some other people, and the person that I was sitting with, who I thought was somebody that was demoing the game, said, sure, you can take some more packs, so I grabbed a couple packs. I grabbed five packs, actually, and um, two of them I already sent to Brian Samuels because we were playing One Piece for a bunch of time that night, and I was, he was very kind to me and invited me over and gave me rum, and we had a blast. So I sent two of the packs to him because he's nasty at card games, and I figured it would be good for people that are good at cards to get these cards so that we can improve, improve the skill cap of the game overall. Uh, and then I took a couple packs for my friends because my friends are really excited about the game, so I wanted to get them some packs. I don't sell these things. I, I think that's kind of obvious if you've known me for any period of time. This is not why I'm, I'm not I'm not stealing packs and going and selling them. I was just under the impression that I could take a couple more because it was Sunday. The event was basically over. They had a bunch in the box and I figured I can take a couple of these and give them to people that are excited about the game. But apparently the guy that I was playing with wasn't actually demoing the game. He was just hanging out there and he didn't have the authority to tell me I could take those packs. So technically I did take these packs when I shouldn't have. And for that, I'm sorry. I actually offered to send the packs back. I, I mean, I only have three of them plus my participation, which I haven't opened. So I'd be happy to send these back wherever they go. But apparently they don't want the packs back. So this is what I'm going to do. To my friends that I was going to give the packs to, I'm sorry. You're not going to be getting the packs. You can get them at the store demos when you go demo the game at the store. But to everybody else watching, you can win these packs. I'm actually even going to include my participation pack because my homie Alejandro was cool enough to get me a playset. So I don't actually really need this. So you can win a playset of the One Piece promo packs. And the way that you can do that is you can make a commercial for the One Piece game in the form of a reel, a YouTube short, or a TikTok. And you have to use the hashtags that I'm including in the description below and send me the link to it. I'm almost at 6,000 subscribers. So when I hit 6,000 subscribers, Whichever advertisement I think is the best, most entertaining, most informative, you will be the winner of these packs and I will send you these packs with a bunch of treasure as well. So when you solve these packs, I'm sorry for taking stuff that I shouldn't have. I didn't realize that was the situation. Next time I'll be more sure to check with somebody that's definitely working there. And I would advise anybody else, if you go to a booth and you're hanging out, make sure that the person that you're doing stuff with is part of the booth. The part I feel worse about is my buddy Krieg was one of those running the booth and this ended up coming back as heat on his plate and that's totally not my intention at all. I do not want to make his life worse for me wanting to take some stuff for my friends. So Krieg, I'm sorry about that. I hope that this doesn't reflect too poorly on you. It's my mistake, but at the end of the day, these packs are going to go to somebody who wants this game to grow. So. Anyway, so you can win these packs. Just uh, make a commercial for the One Piece card game in a reel, a YouTube short, or a TikTok. Put the right hashtags that I have down here. Send me the link. I'm going to watch all of them. And then once I hit 6,000 subscribers, which will be in a couple weeks because the channel's been growing pretty fast, I'm going to pick a winner and you will get these and a bunch of Joku treasure. Now to address another issue that has been going on around me, there's been some other discussion in the Dragon Ball Hell group. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but it's a Facebook group where a bunch of 30-year-old men stroke each other to feel good about their egos. There was some conversation about me... Honestly, I don't even totally remember, but the issue that I have with some of the people in the community is that it sucks to bully new players. You know, it's a really lame thing to do. Even if there's a question that you think the answer to is very simple, it wasn't always that way. Dragon Ball is an extremely complicated game and to make people feel bad or make fun of questions they're asking doesn't help grow the game. It disincentivizes players to play, which is called gatekeeping. It's why the community is small in a lot of senses is because a lot of new players ask these questions and then they get put on blast and bullied and then they don't want to play the game anymore. A lot of people are upset that we don't have good tournament prizing. And the reason why there isn't good tournament prizing is because a lot of people don't sign up to play the game. And a lot of people don't sign up to play the game because it's extremely complicated to learn how to play the game. When they try and learn how to play the game, they end up getting bullied by these guys that think that they're really good at the game, that think they have all the answers and they just make fun of them. So I, I think it's really dumb and you guys should stop doing that. It's fine if you want to make fun of each other. It doesn't matter. Make fun of me. I don't care. Say whatever you want. Don't make fun of new players because it stops the community from growing. So... Be nice to new players, encourage questions, and help people learn and get better at the game so you have some competition and you're not just the only ones at the top of the game fluffing each other. So that's my spiel. Um, I hope you win these packs and I hope you win some treasures. Thank you so much. And uh, 
to all the people out there that put me high enough on a pedestal that you want to see me crash, I have compassion for you that you are unable to recognize that I'm literally just in this to make these games grow. Like That's why I do this. I love this game. It's fun for me. I think my stuff's funny, and at the end of the day, if I'm laughing at it, I don't really care. People can laugh at me. That's fine. I don't really take offense to it. But if I think what I'm doing is funny, I think it's fun. And I've actually made a lot of friends doing this. So um, yeah, I've made the game grow. I've made a lot of friends. I feel like I've fostered the community. Just stop bullying new players. It's really dumb. You want your game to grow. You want more people to play. You want to get good tournament pricing. So encourage people to learn the game because a easy question for you was once a difficult question for you. And just because a difficult question is a difficult question for somebody shouldn't make it something that you make fun of because that makes you a douche. Thank you so much. Oh, dental tooth tip. <laughs> Go to the dentist, take care of your teeth. The periodontal ligament is a ligament that keeps your root of your tooth fastened to the bone. And every time that ligament flexes, it sends a nervous impulse to your brain telling your brain what the texture of food is. So it's good to keep that ligament in place. Take care of your teeth and keep them in your mouth. Thank you so much.